Hello guys, it's Isaac Frank here again today and in this video we'll be talking about the strings and maybe a little bit of bytes. So what really are strings and I'll just show you a simple way to declare a string in here. So we'll create a contract and um, let's say I create a variable in here. As Lucidity requires a data type, a variable, and the value of the variable. So, creating a string data type, we are sending it to Gree and um, we are giving it a value of hello. This hello is a string literal, is a string, and um, greet is a variable, and this is a data type. Uh, so, we'll quickly create a getter and setter for this, this variable. I'll create a function that gets variable, just call this v, and um, this function gets the variable, we'll make it public so we can call it, and also we'll make it a view function, and it should return a string, okay, no, sorry, okay, so this just returns um, the grid variable. Also, we want to be able to update this variable. We don't want it to be just hello forever. So we can also create a setter function, function, and um, call this set variable. It takes a string and it's public, so we can call it from um, outside. And also, it returns. Oh no, it should not return anything. It should just be like this. And it sets greet to equal whatever the user passes to this function. So here we've created two variables. We should try deploying this contract to see if we did anything wrong. And um, I'll deploy this contract. As you can see it's deployed. I should just increase this a little. Okay. So if we try getting the value, it returns hello, which is what we initialized the value as. We can reset the value to say hi. And once we set this, we try getting the value again and it's now changed to high. Strings are basically identical to bytes, although they verify in some ways. Strings hold the UTF E encoding, which makes it hard to not hard actually, which makes it um expensive to compute the number of characters in a particular litra. So which is why Solidity doesn't support um getting a strings length. In some other in some other languages uh, you can get a string length by, let's say I create a function and get length uh, it's public and it's a view function and returns the length of the string so what I'll just do is return In other languages, um, this should work because we're trying to get the length. We're using the property, the member of the string variable to get the length of the string. But in Solidity, because strings are UTF-E encoding and they're very expensive to loop through, um, we'll talk about gases and cost and other stuff in future videos. But looping through a string and setting storing strings are expensive. So Solidity remove the process of getting the length through this. In order for you to get the length of a string, we have to convert the string to a byte, then get the length of the byte. The byte supports the length and indexing stuff, but a string doesn't support that. So we have to get convert the string to a byte, then get the length of the byte. To do that is easy. Remember the data type byte and I'll call this byte to string or string to byte and um it should equal to a byte. And now we are typecasting the string. So what we are doing here is um we are getting the value. Where am I getting? I need to make this a memory because it's a is a is a um function variable. So it should be a memory storage. Uh, I guess this is all. So what we are doing here now is we are getting the value of um the the grid variable which is this and we are converting it to a byte we are casting it to a byte so in here if we should do this uh sorry not bytes actually if we should do this as we 
the variable not this and we try deploying this as you can see no error was listed here and let's say we deploy this so if we should get the length you can see it's five um this works but you should be careful when using this because this doesn't actually work what this is doing here it's not getting the element of um it's not getting the total element in here it's getting the total bytes in here so each each let each character in here is um is one byte so it's adding summing up all characters in here the bytes of all characters in here and um it's it's bringing it out for you to see but at times your your string might not have just ACII characters it might have some characters that are two bytes or three bytes for instance um I don't know if I should I can find the euro character or sign whatever oh shit what am I doing I don't know if I can find the euro sign okay all right so now I should copy this okay you should just watch something why you should not make use of this if you have any special character in your litra so um this is the two four six looking at this you say there are six characters in there but um let's see what um our function is going to tell us i should deploy this as you can see the function said there are eight characters in here uh, actually it said there are eight bytes in here but um, we wanted the length of the character, not the length of the bytes. So what this does, since a string doesn't support getting the length of the character, when you convert it to a byte, you should make sure you don't have any special character in there. Or if you know the special character that's in there, you should use some if statement to um, catch it and convert it back to your one byte or something like that. So this is it. This is basically what we can do, how we can get the bytes of a string not really if there are special characters in it but um this is the best way we can come about it right now solidity still hasn't brought out a support for getting the length of a string directly so this is the best we can come up with um i don't think there's anything else to talk about about strings oh yeah strings accept um escape characters so escape character is basically the the backslash character this is an escape character so if we should input an escape character in here what this does is it gets it gets an alternate meaning meaning of the next character that follows it so let's say for instance you're trying to write you're trying to write something like this you, you are good and you want to wrap this good in a quote a quote sign you can do this you can use um a single quote um this will work actually but let's say you want you really want it to be a double quote to do this you can make use of the double quote sign in here and um this doesn't work again because this is closing the outer quotes the solidity thinks you're trying to close the outer outer quotes so a way to go about this is to change the other quote to be a single quote but for some reasons let's say you have mixtures of okay let's say you're doing something like this okay as you can see there's no way to go about this here because changing this to a single quote in, um, interrupts this and leaving it to be a double quote uh, interrupts this so we have to find a way to somehow let's let it know that this is just a string and not a closure to do that you make use of the escape character which is this so this gets an alternative meaning to this instead of this being a closure quote end quote it's now um, a string a normal character that is embedded in this string literature so solidity doesn't see this as um, a closure anymore it sees this as a quote so we'll do the same thing in here and if we have to deploy this contract again, get whatever the value is, um, this is it. As you can see, the good variable is in quotes. So that is it. And also, so this supports new line. Um, let's say you've written something and you want the next stuff you write to be below. What the hell? You want the next stuff you write to be below this. If you hit the enter key, as you can see, 
um, you get an error because you don't have a closure, you don't have a semicolon. To do this, so you need to support the new line escape key, which is done using the escape character and the n character, the n leader. So what this does, it has a new line at the end of the string, and if you add something in here, this goes under this. Um, you are good. So also Solidity supports the escaping and escape character. So for instance, you want to write something like this. As you can see, this won't let you because it's trying to escape edge, and edge isn't um actually an escape escape sequence. So to do this, we have to escape the escape character. Doing this, we are giving this escape character an alternate alternate meaning. So we are changing the meaning of this escape character. So this is escaping this, making this to be a single line. So if we should deploy this contract again, um, and we go over here and um, get it. As you can see, it's only one. It's, it's only one backslash that shows in here. And if you check here, for some reasons, um, this Remix IDE doesn't support a new line. I don't know why, but um. As you can see, there's a little space in here, um, but if you look at our source code, we didn't add a space. So this is a new line, but Remix just kept it on same line. I don't know for some weird reasons. So that's it for the string literals, and I don't think there's any other thing to talk about strings. The only takeaway notice in here is that in order to manipulate a string, you need to convert it to um, a byte. String is an array of characters, but you can access it where you access array. You can't get the length of um of a string except converting it to a byte first before getting the length of the string. Speaking of arrays, um in our next video we'll be talking about arrays, the types of arrays and stuff and how to deal with arrays in Solidity. Anyways, if you have any questions, comments or whatever, leave it below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching.